On today's video of Dan Teaches Electrical Engineering, we are discussing KVL calculations within AC circuits. KVL describes how the sum of voltages within a closed loop must be equal to zero. That is, the sum of the source's voltage must be equal to the sum of the voltage components, the consumers of the voltage. As shown here in this simple DC circuit, a reference point is always a good idea to prevent confusion in calculations. Going around the loop, we have two source voltages and two components or consumers of voltage. Doing some basic KVL calculations, we find that 4 plus 8 equals V3 plus 9 volts, with V3 equaling 3 volts total. Now, AC circuits are not as simple as DC circuits due to this fluctuating sinusoidal waveform of the voltage and current. As shown here down the bottom, the voltage is represented by an amplitude, A, omega, which is 2 pi f, and phi, which is the phase shift of the sine wave. This is our basic AC circuit example, with the source voltage around this clockwise current of E, and the components of V1 and the unknown V2. Doing some basic KVL will yield this equation here, However, we cannot do KVL calculations with this sinusoidal waveform. We must convert it. In order to convert between polar and rectangular forms, we use these formulas here, and then rectangular to polar at the final end of the video, this form here. With our waveform of the E source, we must extract the amplitude, then divide by root 2 to yield the RMS value, we then extract the phi value, that is the angle, and add it onto the end. We now have a polar form with a magnitude and an angle. Now, converting to a rectangular form will ease our calculation process. So, we extract the amplitude times by cos of the angle of phi. Now, this equals our real value. We do similar process to find the imaginary value of B, that is amplitude times sine of phi equals B. Now, when writing down the form, A is written normally, whereas B has a J, an imaginary value attached. Doing the same process with V1 yields this value here. Now, with both in rectangular form, we can undergo KVL calculations. With 25.98, the two real values being added together, and the two imaginary values equaling together. At the end, we get V2 equals 18.91 plus 22.07J. Thank you for watching.